Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Kenmore washer suspension rod kit. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at ApplianceParsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new suspension rod kit. The suspension rods support the tub and the washer. The main reason be changing them out is if they failed and the washer is going out of balance. In order to change the part, we have to lift up the top of the washer. First thing we're going to do is go around back. Now that we're around back, we have to take the hoses off. We're going to put a towel down to catch any water that may come out. First, we're going to take the drain hose off. We're going to use a pliers to compress the clamp. And then move it up the drain hose. Once you have it moved up the drain hose, all you have to do is pull the drain hose off. And we can take off the fill hoses. To get the fill hoses off, we're just going to loosen them up with the pliers. Once you have them loose, you can turn it by hand. If you're taking these off, you want to make sure you remember which one's hot, which one's cold, so you don't mix them up and put them back on. Once you have the fill hoses off, we're going to use a quarter inch nut driver to take out the screw that holds on this panel. Once you have the screw out, you can swing the panel over and lift off the mounting tabs. Now that we have the panel off, we have to remove the upper screw on the hinges. There's one on each side we're going to take out. Take these out so we can lift the top up. Once you have them out, we can go back up front. Now that we're back around front, we're going to tape the lid down so it doesn't fall when we lift up the top. Once you have it taped on, we can lift up the top. First, we're going to pull it forward and then lift up on it and push back and lift at the same time. Once you have it raised, we're going to put a lanyard on here to support it. I'm just going to hook the lanyard up onto the top and then down to the frame. Now that we have the top up, we have access to the suspension rods. There's one in each corner. They're all changed out the same way. First thing we're going to do is reach underneath and lift up on the rod. Once you have the rod lifted up, you can remove the bearing. All you have to do is press down on it and then pull it off. You can let go of the rod. Then we can take the bearing cup out. There's a couple locking tabs on the bottom. All you have to do is press on them while you're pressing up on it. Once you have it off, you can pull it off the washer. On the rear one, you want to hook the rod onto the frame right here because the tub has to be supported when we lay the washer on its back. Now we're going to lower the top down. We're going to take the lanyard out. Then you can lower it down. As you lower it down, you want to make sure that these tabs here go into the slots in the top. You can pull it forward so it drops down and push it back to lock it in. Once you have it locked in, we can go around back. We're going to use a quarter inch nut driver put in just one of the screws that hold the top to the hinges so that when we lay the washer down it's more secure. With the top secure we can lay a towel on the floor to protect it when we lay the washer on its back. You want to be careful when you're laying it down. It is kind of heavy. You don't want to drop it. Now that we have the washer on its back we have access to all the suspension rods. All we have to do is reach in and pull the upper ones out. For the rear one, you may have to reach in and push on the bottom of the suspension rod so you can unhook it from the frame on the top.
Once you have it unhooked, you can pull it out. Here's the old suspension rod kit next to the new ones. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Looks like they redesigned the bearings, but it'll go in and work just fine. Now we can put the suspension rods in. We're going to put the rear ones in first. All you have to do is feed them up through the tub. And remember, we have to push up on the spring so we can hook the top of the rod onto the frame. The one on this side goes in the same way. For the front ones, all you have to do is push them in so they're seated in the tub. Once you have all the rods in, we can put the washer back up on its feet. Once you have the washer back up on its feet, you can pull the towel out. Now we're going to use a quarter inch nut driver to take out the screw that holds the hinge to the top. Now we're back around front, we're going to lift up the top again. Now we can put all the upper bearings in. First we're going to snap the cup in. All you have to do is set it down and snap it in. We're going to lift up on the rod and get it to come through the bearing cup. Once you have it lifted up, you can snap the bearing on. The other three go in the same way. Now that you have all the bearings in, we can put the top down. Once you have the top on, you can take the tape off that holds the lid down. Now we're going to use a corner nut driver to put in the screws to hold the hinges to the top. Then we can put the cover on. All you have to do is line up the two tabs and swing it over. Then we can use the quarter inch nut driver to put in the screw that holds it on. Then we can put the fill hoses on. You want to make sure you get the hot on the hot and the cold on the cold. We'll start them by hand so we don't strip the threads and damage the valve. Once you have it snug, you can grab the pliers and tighten it down so you don't have any leaks. Now we can put the drain hose on. All you have to do is line it up on the fitting and push it on. Once you have it on, we can grab the pliers and compress the clamp. And move it up on the drain hose so we get a good seal. Another way of the washer put it back together, and plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.